Travel by in LA where we talk about your options, let's say some foreclosures, the real estate, the immigration. When there is something wrong, we try to correct it. And so today on the show, let's talk about something that most of us, um, siguro po, hindi natin nabibigyan ng pansin. When we write the wrong from, you know, our families, our relationships, communication, and all that, it's always um, the outside that we're trying to correct. But what about writing the wrong within? And we're going to be talking about that right about now on the show. Kasama natin is Mary. Mary Sherman, she is an author, and she wrote a book, Writing the Wrong Within. We're going to be talking about that because, you know, at the start of the year, we've been talking about discussing this. Um, we talked about Kabbalah. People look for answers, especially in this day and age, you know, where people are more mature in questioning what's happening in the world within themselves. So how do we write the wrong within? But I guess the first question is, what are the wrongs inside us? What is the wrong within that we need to... Correct. Well, I think most people know what's wrong. They they may not have a name for it, mm -hmm. but they sense something is not right within them, mm -hmm. and they may experience maybe a lot of anger or sometimes a dull pain that's located in this area, and they don't know what it's from, mm -hmm. and they don't know how to deal with it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, people are acting out in various ways to bring comfort to themselves. See, the thing is, this is a different approach, writing the wrong within, because sometimes when we know that there's something wrong inside of us, like, you know, we always blame the outside factors. Oh, you know, because I was raised this way, so I'm like this now, I have this much bitterness because my parents did this to me, or, you know, things like that. But how do we um, admit that it is within us and we have the power to change that? Well, like for myself, uh, I did blame my circumstances, and a lot of what did happen to me was for my circumstances. But it's how we perceive it and then how we handle it. You didn't do it to yourself, but you are responsible for how to handle it and how to change it mm -hmm. within yourself. And it took me a while to come out of denial and realize the issue is with me, mm -hmm. that whatever happened and whatever pain and whatever damage that was within me, I now need to figure out how to heal that. And there goes another question. That is why so many self-help books are doing well in the bookshelves. It's because right. people look for answers. And when we write the wrong within or when we write what's wrong within our lives, we turn to books. We turn to religion, we turn to spirituality, and we turn to different things, and sometimes it's not a fit. Right. And what, it, what I have found was, you know, God says he's on the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the light. Mm -hmm. In his light, we see light. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're darkness. We can't see ourselves. We may have a perception or, or we think we're a certain way. Sometimes we ask questions of why do people respond to me in certain ways? Because within yourself, you're judging yourself according to yourself. You really don't have a measurement. You don't have a, a, a light to see what's going on. So when he comes into our life, okay, and I'm talking about a surrendered life, not somebody who's just, I go to a church, you know, once in a while or whatever, but someone who truly knows him, has been born into him, then he comes in and he begins to direct your life mm -hmm. and he will begin to service things in you that are not right. Are you saying that in order for us to right the wrong within, we have to stick to religion? Well, what are I'm we talking saying, about religion here or spirituality or when you talk about God, is it, you know, God? God is, is a person. He is not a religion. Uh, religion is man always trying to reach to God, but mm -hmm. actually it's God who reaches to us. Mm -hmm. And he draws us. No man can come to him except to be drawn. Mm -hmm. So he draws us to him. Mm -hmm. And then we respond to that. Mm -hmm. And we have a choice to respond to that. And then we, the first response is, I, I need a savior. I need help. When we come to that place, and it's, they say the same thing in AA and other places, you have to come to a place and say, I need help. Right. Then we'll find out there's certain things on a human level that we can do, mm -hmm. but there are things like the soul. He created the soul. We can't fix that soul. Mm -hmm. You can't see the soul, mm -hmm. but you know it exists because I think, you know, I feel, mm -hmm. I respond. You, you know you have a soul. Mm -hmm. When you hurt me, I cry. Right, you know? right. So there are rips and tears that happen to the soul the same way they happen to the body. Mm -hmm. So what happens is a lot of people try to manage the pain. Right. They try to live with and work it out or comfort or find some means to cope. Right. But why do that? But when not he, address. But not address it because... 
they don't know that is God is the one who does the healing. Right. Let's see uh, the book, Right the Wrong Within. What are we going to get? Are we going to get practical solutions in the book? Are we, you know, are, are we going to be, uh, are we going to get Bible passages that we can read and reflect on? Yes. Um, what you're going to get in the book is exactly what I went through in recovery from my own self through the Word of God. And I found that everything that Jesus Christ did, mm -hmm. I had, when I first came to know him, I had no clue what he really did for me. Mm -hmm. Sort of like if you got a house or you're given a mansion and you go in. Right. Until you go through every door and every nook and cranny, you don't know what you have. Exactly. So people don't read the Bible. They don't read it. They don't know how to study it. They don't know how to learn. And so the idea is that what did he really do for you? He saved you. Yeah, from hell. That's fine. Right. You're going to heaven. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But what about here? Right. What about now? What right. about my life now? I'm in pain. I'm hurt. I've been molested. You know, I've been beaten. You know, I'm in abusive relationships. You know, I, I don't get along with people. Mm -hmm. There's things that are not right in my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and so it teaches you how to seek the Lord, how to find the answers. Mm -hmm. It gives illustrations. It gives charts. It gives uh, ways and means of how to sit before him and find out what's really wrong and how to deal with it. All right. Sounds good. Where can we get a copy of the book? You can get the book at any bookstore, mm -hmm. uh, Christian, otherwise, online, offline, mm -hmm. uh, in Europe, any place you can, you can get it. And for more information, that's the website on the screen, Hand of Min, uh, handofmercyministry.org. Thank you so much Thank you. for sharing what you've learned with us today. Thank you very much. Magbabalik po ang kababayan LA. Don't go away. Ang kababayan LA ay hatid sa inyo ng McDonald's at ng bagong Mac Cafe Espresso Drinks. McDonald's na ba ang inyong bagong coffee house? Ang mga bagong Mac Cafe Espresso Drinks ay mabilis, masarap at mas mura pa kahit saan, kahit kailan.